Section 1. Overview. In this section, you will learn what an athlete model is, why it is an important tool for decision scientists, and how it's being used in many different industries. At the end of the section, we'll do a quick summary of what we have learned. What is athlete model? According to Wikipedia, Athlete modeling, also known as incremental modeling, tulip modeling, or net modeling, is a predictive modeling technique that directly models the incremental impact of treatment, such as a direct marketing action on an individual's behavior. It is a data mining technique that has been applied predominantly in the financial services, telecommunications, and retail direct marketing industries for upsell cross-sell, acquisition, and retention activities. So, how do we define uplift? The uplift of a marketing campaign is usually defined as the difference in response rate between a treated group and a randomized control group. The treated group includes those people who are subject to a specific marketing treatment from company. The randomized control group includes those people who are held out from the specific marketing campaign from the same company. Examples of the marketing treatments are pre-approved credit card offer, 50% discount offer to shop at the specific retail store for a specific day. Randomized means the people in a control group is identical to those in a treated group. The only difference is that the treated group received the campaign treatment while the control group did not. It is very important for the company to set up the test and control group correctly so that we can isolate the effect of marketing action and measure the effectiveness of that individual marketing action. Here is an example of how we calculate uplift in practice. The table below shows the details of campaign, showing the number of responders and response rate for a marketing campaign. For the treated group who received marketing campaign, 1 million customers received the marketing campaign. Number of responders from the treated group is 100,000. Response rate is number of responders divided by number of customers equal to 10%. Control group also had 1 million customers. The number of responders from the control group is 80,000 people, which gave us response rate of 8%. So the marketing campaign had generated the response rate uplift is 10% minus 8% equal 2%. Number of incremental responders is 1 million customers times 2%, which is response rate uplift equal to 20,000 customers. It is well known in the industry that not all responders are incremental. We can classify responders into two categories. One is natural responders. Those are the ones who will shop without your marketing treatment. The other one is incremental responders. Those are the ones who you really need to give them some treatment in order for them to respond. Without your treatment, you will not obtain the desired outcomes from them. Why do we need to develop uplift model? Why not just develop traditional response model? That is because traditional response model is optimized to find responders regardless of whether they are natural or incremental responders. Since most of the responders are actually natural responders, the traditional response model is not optimized to find incremental responders. Hence, it is not a very efficient tool to help companies obtain a desirable business outcomes. On the other hand, uplift model is optimized to find those incremental responders. It is much more efficient. So the companies only spend marketing dollars on those who actually need incremental treatment to respond. 
Here are a few common applications for athlete modeling. Improve marketing effectiveness in direct-to-consumer marketing. Improve customer cross-sell and or upsell, where higher natural buy rates can be expected. Reduce customer attrition, where certain treatments might cause incremental customer attrition. For example, in the telecommunications and financial services industries, often retention campaigns can trigger some customer to cancel a contract or policy. Uplift modeling can identify those type of customers that can be held out on the retention campaign. In summary, in this section, we learned the following key points. Uplift model is an advanced modeling technique to identify prospects or customers that marketing or retention efforts can generate true incremental impact. It is being used to help companies make smarter decisions to improve their business outcomes. Common model applications include customer acquisition, cross-sell, upsell, and retention.